Happy Groundhog Day, everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of the Disc Only Podcast. Welcome, everybody, to the Disc Only Podcast, the podcast that has four people that uh, talk about whatever they want, which is something that never happens in any other podcast. We're the first one to do it and probably the last. Uh, I'm going to be your main host, as always, Proton John. I'm Tom Fox. I'm st- and- oh, shoot, I forgot. Oh, my God. Okay, Steven, we got we got to do it again. We got to do it again. Hey, everybody, welcome to the bo- the Boxing Day. Welcome to the <laughs> Groundhog Day episode of the Disc <laughs> Only no, Podcast. Do it again. Do it again. You Hang see, on. We got, it, we got it. We got it. No, we're good. We're good. We're doing it. We're doing it. No, you redid the intro. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Disc Only Podcast, the podcast that only has four people in it and no one else. That's it. I'm John. I'm I'm Tom, and uh, this is this uh, intro is like Groundhog Day. I go after Tom, after <laughs> after Tom. Sorry, and I I'm the last one. <laughs> All right, Jared forgot his name. We gotta start over again. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Groundhog Day episode of the Disc Only Podcast. <laughs> I'm Jared. Shit! God! <laughs> Do it again. No, okay. I'm Tom, and my and my alarm clock won't stop playing Sunny and Cher. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's after Tom now. So I'm Stephen. And I'm John. You know what? Hey, I'm good. Congratulations! With that. <laughs> Here's a special day for you, John. I've upgraded. <laughs> wow, we were just talking about how we were, how we were going to see how long we go before talking about that. I don't know and what you're talking you about because it's the tenth year. It's the tenth year anniversary of TRG. What are you talking about? Oh yeah! <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, TRG! <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! It's not only the Ugh. birthday of TRG, but also the birthday of the of the stress tumor that John developed. <laughs> That's where that eye twitch came from. Now it all makes sense. Yep. <laughs> I'm John, by the way. I actually am John. I'm sorry. We, we, we've been lying to you this whole time. These past five minutes have been a lie. I'm sorry. I'm Tom. Wait, Look, are we st- doing this again? We st- know our name! All right, he, he screwed it up. We gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. <laughs> Why? What's happening? <laughs> John stole my name. That's not fair. All right. <laughs> I took it I back. Don't... I'm John. I'm John again. I'm Tom. I'm Steven. <laughs> Please make this end. <laughs> Robot <laughs> roll call. Cambot. Tom, shut up. I'm trying to say that I'm Jared. Crow. Gypsy. Tom Servo. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> <laughs> la la la. Uh... That was the best intro we've ever done. And we got it on the first take. Exactly. It was objectively the worst. <laughs> what that I don't understand what metric we are measuring things by. Play the intro again! Okay, hang on, hang on. It takes no! a minute to our... <laughs> Please God! <laughs> Oh, are you a block cat? <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. Steven, who we are, are you? <laughs> we are all ourselves, and we come to you on our knees as a group <laughs> on to our try knees? and make a show. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we we got this. <laughs> Steven, <I'm> is- t- <laughs> <laughs> Steven is like actually distraught. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy frick. I I don't know how many more times I can keep track the the fact that I go Oh shoot, is it a- after Tom? Jesus! Oh, uh, we got to do it again. God damn it. No! <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't. Tom, are you it. back from the void yet? Tom, 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 Tom. Nope, still lost. <laughs> Have fun editing this, Dan. Have fun editing this. 
<laughs> oh. Holy crap. Oh god, my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Today's a good day, man. I tell you what. How, this is how a darn are y'all doing? Day. How are you guys doing? I'm I'm okay. I'm I mean, I'm, I I hope I'm getting better. <laughs> Steven was Steven was good. <laughs> there's been a, there's been a recent dip, <laughs> but I, I hope to climb the hill of happiness again soon, John. I need another minute. <laughs> Just like GameStop stock. Ten ten minutes in, we've done ten intros and we're doing well. Let's freaking keep it going. My contentness. We're going. We're going is for a one subreddit. A God. Uh. Right, one a minute right now. We're doing great. That's a really good ratio. <laughs> we can, Again, we can, we, we can easily break that record next month. What, oh yes, yeah, metric easy. for good. <laughs> anyway, y'all doing good? Y'all, y'all well? Yeah, been having oh, a good, good time. How about you? <laughs> Fine. Are you sure he's about that? Bit, he's a tad bit stressed, but you know, it's just just a little bit. Fine. Is it because you've got an anniversary coming up soon? I do. We do have the anniversary. Yeah, that we were talking about this right before the show. TRG is celebrating ten years. Is it fr- is Friday the date of TRGs? Yes, Friday. Uh, Friday, February fifth is the first day that we posted a TRG video. That was when the first so, episode of wow. Mario Party One went up. So Friday, Friday is uh, the TRG ten year anniversary. Two days later is the Steven Plays 10-year anniversary. So <laughs> TRG, TRG got started two days before I started doing um, my LP stuff. That is crazy. I did not realize it was that close together. So that's kind of neat. For the, for the five-year anniversary of TRG, I animated that uh, that at the what was considered the epic chance time for Mario Party 1 and Source Filmmaker. Oh, yeah. That oh, was... What? Dang, that, that was, was a while ago. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, one of the more highly produced ones because I because there was no Waluigi in the old one, so I had to retexture Waluigi to look like Mario, so that way it would stay consistent. That's why that's why a uh, uh, a meal in the pinball hazard one was Daisy with Donkey Kong's head. <laughs> I forgot how good that was. But just and like while I was animating it, I I made him do like a like a like a. A, this like particular pose where it's like his hands together were together and like next to his cheek and he was looking up and I captioned it someday my prince will come <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, I, uh, I can't believe it's been 10 years for TRG because TRG almost feels in some way like it's just been around forever but also I can remember Emil well, a decade talking is to me pretty about fucking it. long especially when it comes to it's YouTube content it's a long content. time yeah 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 like to put it into perspective, I've been doing online content for 14 years, or I will be. Do- it is 14 years, I think, in March. So, uh, like, it, it wasn't even that long when Emil, Tim, and I all started doing content in the first place before we formed it. I mean, and if you think about it, YouTube's only been around for 15 years, yeah. like in total. So, it'll be I- 13 years for me in. June. Well, April is when I made the channel, but June is when I actually started posting content. I'm a baby. I'll, I'll be six years in uh, in May. <clears throat> yeah, six years in what? May, May thirty first. What counts as online content? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair point. For you, for Smile you, it's a bit more complicated. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, because I predate YouTube back when people had to download WMVs to see me. Do T- stupid Team things. Google Video, baby. That's right. I had, a, I had a couple things on there, but it was it was mostly like group projects, and I wasn't the spearhead for them. Steven's been doing this stuff so long, he vlogged his own birth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's impressive. That is it very seems impressive. very difficult to do. Um, <laughs> that, all, right, that... all right, Mrs. George, I can see the flip. <laughs> Dude, that... <laughs> <laughs> the the sound that Steven made made that joke 100% worth it. That was fantastic. <laughs> I, was, I was a big baby. I don't think a I don't think a camera would have fit in there with me. <laughs> no, you, baby. You didn't take it with you. <laughs> Never mind, man. Never mind. Oh god. Oh, frick. Cuz that was the part that <laughs> <laughs> you had to think part. about you had to think about the logistics of it for a second. Like that Steven, was the sound. It was like, huh? 
Steven's right, well. actually been shrinking since he was born. He's actually eight feet. He was actually eight feet tall at birth. I'm going Wait, pretty slow then. Yeah. What <laughs> What is that movie? Um, The Strange Case of Benjamin Button, where you like, where he was like born as an adult or something like that. Yeah. Born yeah. as an old man. That's Steve. <laughs> backwards. Yeah. Is that the one with Robin Williams? No. You're thinking Bicentennial Man. Yeah. Oh no, I'm thinking of um. The one where he's real old, but he's young. <laughs> Jack! Thank oh, you, Oh, Jack. Oh. Jack! Jack. The, the That's other it. one. Okay. The, uh, the Basically, the concept in reverse. Never mind. <laughs> so, aging normally? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. No, no. Jack, Jack reversed... aged four years every year. So, he yeah. was 40 years old when he, was, when he was in grade four, which is what the movie's about. Oh. So, it's like the opposite of being uh, born a leap year day he he finishes he finishes high school but he has the body of uh like a like a 80, 60 year old a, yeah yeah nearly an 80 year old man or something <laughs> movies are weird mm-hmm comedies <laughs> was it was it a, i guess it was kind of a comedy if you if you were to the whole point was that jack was a comedy it was about oh, yeah. Well, because it's Robin it? Williams. Okay, it's hang a on. Drama, D. Hang, hang on. Let's find out what. <laughs> drama. Let's find out what the what internet has to say. Jack genre. Jack movie. 1996 film. Drama slash comedy drama. Okay, it's a okay, dramedy. Dramedy. Yeah, well, it dramedy. has to, John. It has to be. The whole thing is like, oh God, Jack is aging and is not going to go to college. That's the whole thing. That's that's the drama part of like, oh man, my heart hurts. And like he makes you laugh, but you know he, you know he's old already. Good news! One of the results for some we're looking reason, up Jack movie was Jack Frost. For so, dude, oh, when man. I put in when I put in a search for uh, for Persona Five on Google Images for like a, for like a social media thing when I was playing that game, the, Jack Frost came up for that too as like one of the top images. <laughs> like not, Jack, not the Persona, like the movie Jack Frost, the not movie Jack with Frost Michael Keaton where he turns into a snowman. Yeah. Like why is why is he taking over the algorithm? That's weird. Because it's finally Michael Keaton's time to shine. <laughs> finally, <laughs> that breakout star of Jack Frost, not, not, Michael not, Keaton. Not, not as Batman or any other role he had, but Dude, as Jack Frost. Birdman was such a fun movie just knowing the lens of what happened with Batman and just like I really love that movie despite it being just incredibly insane. <laughs> I just watched that film on Sunday. I watched that in theaters. I was actually that excited to watch it. It was fun. It was it was very very good. It was technically extremely impressive. Like I was I was blown away because the the entire film is like I think 16 shots. It's Jesus, just not, really? It? It's just wow. it's just follow shots. Holy cow. So the amount the amount of effort and planning on behalf of I mean, everyone doing the blocking, and then, of course, the, the actors and actresses to remember all those lines, and then the cinematographer. Like, all of that is insane. How long Dude. is that movie? Long. It's close to two hours. Dude, the that's film, like... it, it's, if you've never seen it, it's as if it's one shot the whole film. Yeah, it so is two hours. the cuts are very heavily, hev uh, cleverly hidden. Damn. There's more editing. There's more editing done on this podcast than there probably was on that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we need more cuts because we have to redo the intro ten times. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, John, you might want to re redo the intro. Ah, dang! All right, everybody, welcome to the Groundhog Day episode of Disc Only. I really like the comment that I saw earlier. It's. Steven's voice pitch is like a stress monitor for him. I'm John. Really great. <laughs> I'm Tom. <laughs> and I'm It's uh. Lou Bega. Mouse says you can always you can always tell when I'm lying because my voice just goes up like to the to the very very top and i'm either lying or i yeah i'm stressed because my voice gets very high during certain gaming situations as well i just get louder and louder like <laughs> there, there's no there's no like 
pitch for me. I just get either super loud or I don't make any noise at all. If I'm making no noise at all, you know I'm mad at a game or mad at something. I, uh, I, I, I was thinking of like, uh, of like, uh, some uh, people in the chat mentioned Among Us, and it's like I, I'm so bad at games like that, where you have to, where like you have to like lie in order to like, to to like progress if you're the uh, the um, like the traders or whatever. See, the best part is to completely throw everyone off. You you figure out what your tells are in advance and just use them all immediately when you're not, and then you just leave them confused. You third imposter so hard they can't tell what you are. Anymore. <laughs> I usually just like I, I like I just play that game as goofily as possible, and then like when it comes time for voting, like ninety percent of the time I vote for myself. Oh, now throw them off. Yeah. Uh. It's not how the game works, but you can make it work if you're that good. I guess. apparently. <laughs> Ooh, I'm no, I'm terrible at it. Speaking of uh, speaking of games, uh, Hitman Three came out, and I have been enjoying the ever loving hell out of it. It I, the Hitman series. I, I don't know about like the the ones before the uh, the the reboot, the 2016 reboot. Yeah, but this series, I love just how serious the uh i love how serious the story and advertising are for the hit this hitman series and just how absolutely goofy the the gameplay is agent 47 is only as smooth and precise as the person controlling him and that leads to so many great great things happening now i i i still haven't played the hitman series um although i've been really interested in it in in Hitman Two, they they like imported the levels from Hitman One into Two. Did they do the same thing for Three? <laughs> yep, I think uh, it, they All they're games? like yes, but uh, but they same with Hitman Two. They you do have to pay extra for them. Okay, but you if you haven't like played One and Two, you could buy Three and still you experience could... like all the missions. Exactly. Yes, mm. that's cool. Is there like has it the game changed? structurally in some way like is there like uh when left 4 dead 2 came out you could play the levels from left 4 dead 1 but there was like new enemies and new items and stuff in it uh some things have changed but nothing like it, it's it's nothing that would really be missed from the first uh first two hitman games okay have I you ever seen uh, the have you ever seen the hitman movie no yes i, heard it was crap, I saw though. that in theaters too I actually saw that in theaters. Yes, yeah. I enjoyed the brick out of it. Like it was a for, it was a decent what, action it was movie. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really go with the games at all. But I mean, it's pretty good. I literally do not remember anything about that movie at all. I remember like there's like some scene with someone in a trunk. That's literally all I remember. I don't Who remember is, it, it. But I also actor. saw it with other people. It's the actor. Um, God. Who does he play other than the Hitman guy? I cannot remember, but that actor is like the only thing I remember is his face because he has like a really like goofy, really like distinctive face. Yeah, uh, yeah. Timothy Oliphant, according to the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the heck out of that movie. Um, it's like the Transporter movies, but with a video game twist. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's the, a fair comparison. That's a really yeah. fair comparison. Now the transporter movies, dude. That was my jam, man. I love the transporter. The uh, some of my favorite things about like the the recent games that have come out. There's there's a there's um that one wasn't two, on purpose. That one wasn't on two of two Did you very. Just... <laughs> I w I went to go show Twitter art and I accidentally pressed the button to do the intro. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It wasn't on purpose. I swear, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt that, Tom, but I had to. I had to. I had to point <laughs> uh, two, two really good missions in that one. One you can't play anymore, unfortunately, because of licensing issues. But one of them is a uh, a Christmas themed <laughs> level where you can uh, uh, hunt down Santa for his disguise, and then you you have to assassinate the Wet Bandits, like the mm. Wet Bandits from Home Alone. <laughs> oh, my oh God. <laughs> Uh, and then the other one was a, uh, they have these things called, uh, elusive targets where you can't, you don't know where your target is like in the map. Like normally when you play the game, you can hit a button and it'll, and it'll highlight where your target is in red in, uh, elusive target. You can't see your, your target in the map. One of them was with Gary Busey. 
Like, not playing a character, just Gary Busey. Uh, huh. I remember that. Uh, I never played the game, but I remember them, like, talking about that on social media or something and just yeah. thinking, wait, what? Yeah. You just hunt down Gary Busey and, like, one of the, the um... Like your your briefing for the mission is that like you know this person wants him killed and yada yada and she has like a list of like all these powers that he has and they're all like deconfirmed 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 and then one's like invincible robot man unconfirmed and uh, <laughs> then huh. then uh, then at one point it's like we got this recording of him uh, in like from the last place that we saw him and it's just Gary Busey shouting you'll never find me I have the power of invisibility. Huh. It reminds me vaguely of um, Gary Coleman in Postal 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> which, is, oh, man. which is one of the weirdest <laughs> inclusions, but I guess for that specific game, it's like, yeah, I guess it's not that weird. <laughs> Bunch of great outfits in that game for Age of 47 that just act as the normal suit. There's the clown outfit, the Santa suit, the pirate. And it's, it's so funny, though, because like... Uh... He's such a serious character, but oh, because, yeah. because of the fact the game takes itself so seriously, but the gameplay is so weird, it makes it such a fun time. Uh, there's, <laughs> really one, like there's one level. Um, it's a uh, takes place in a, in a, on a race course in Miami. You can knock out a mascot and take their their uh, their outfit. Nice. Um, and so it's just Age of Forty Seven dressed as this giant pink flamingo. And if you manage to kill both the targets and then get to a, the top of a uh, of a building where you're considered hostile, uh, you have an exit there where you just fly off the roof, flapping your arms. You just fly away. <laughs> what? Yeah. The the ridiculous nature of Hitman combined with the costumes gives me extreme. Dead Rising feels. Oh yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Tell is, them is is that going like the through... dolphin. Oh yeah, the dolphin too. Like that's in the same level. If you have the fish and you like step on these like fountains in front of the uh, the building, one of the exits is that Age of Forty Seven is just surfing away on a dolphin. Oh. <laughs> huh. Like the, the I'd say that, but the big difference between Hitman and uh, and Dead Rising in that regard is that Dead Rising was kind of made to be super ridiculous. Hitman was more, like, Hitman has such a serious facade to it. Hmm. Yeah, Hitman, yeah, Hitman's definitely meant to be super serious, but, like, I, I well, love how they, they just show uh, Agent 47, like, just doing whatever. Like, what is that clip that was going around of Hitman 3, the one where uh, he's trying to blend into a crowd and someone he's next to is asking for relationship advice, and he gives actually good, genuine advice while just blending in? Yep. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's the start of one of the levels. You start that level off uh, next to somebody in, I think it's the China level, where this woman is just asking for relationship advice, and there's a conversation going back and forth between the, between age 47 and this, and this woman. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'd consider I'd consider both of those games black comedies. Yeah, that's um, fair. Just because there's 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 too many purposeful comedic elements in both games, so the developers definitely know what they were doing. At some point, I hope to get around to playing Hitman. I guess I guess at this point it'll just be three. Yeah. Because why not? It's got one and two in it. <laughs> yeah, Tom, what was it we played on stream the other day? Was that Hitman One? Like we had just that was Hitman on, One. Yeah, that, on was, that was the original Hitman. It. Yeah, that was Hitman it, One. Hitman one or Hitman the first Hit, Hitman? Hit, Hitman Hitman twenty sixteen. Yeah, because oh, the, okay. the first Hitman's called Hitman Codename forty seven or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. apparently like it's bad. Even like the, the developers are like, Yeah, don't go play that one. It's like starting I, I I played that one actually. Um it was not great. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> confirming that at least. Darren just thing. It was not as good as the new ones. In a... Uh... In the, the newest game, in the first mission, you, like, some of the strangest things. First off, the first mission takes place in a, uh, a high-rise in, uh, in Dubai. Um, and, uh, like, you're, you initially, like, parachute into it, so you have no equipment on you, and you have to kind of have to find it out. Well, one of the things you could do is um, you come across this woman who's on the phone who's, like, 
being like, you know, this this guy is such a jackass. Uh, you know, I, I, I but I admit I kind of lost my my head there. I'm not going to use the exploding golf ball. It's a janitor, and you're like, excuse me? And it's like, yeah, I just hit it over here. So you go into that room, you find the exploding golf ball, place it with the rest of them, and then you have to piss off the guy so much that he doesn't want to work anymore and go play golf, and then he tries to hit the golf ball, and it blows him up. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a very convoluted yeah. way of beating that, but I love yeah. that they thought of that. It it's like counts, the, on top of that, it counts as an accident kill. So, like, if you're trying to go for, like, the highest rank in the game, then, like, you don't have to, like, you know, you could do that just fine. And, and no, and like, people, fi they find the body and they're just like, oh, my God, what happened? The flow chart for that game, whenever they made it, must look like a freaking Rune Goldberg machine. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> <laughs> just being able to figure out exactly the way that you need to do stuff for certain criteria. That's nutty. I, I like and and then there's there's like there's two kind of levels to it. There's like story missions that are really easy to follow along with because there's indicators for where you have to go. And like then there's like other ones that you just kind of find and then adapt to making them work for you because the golf ball one isn't a story. You just find that golf ball and then you have to figure out how to make them play golf. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I want to get around to that. Oh, it's so good. I think it's, uh, I don't know if three has multiplayer, but one and two definitely had multiplayer. Wait, how do you do multiplayer Hitman? Uh, it's basically that you just, you're, you and your uh, opponent are uh, released into the same area. You can't interact with each other, and you both have to hunt down uh, multiple targets uh, before the other one does. Oh, like you're hunting, so you, you're hunting ah. the same the same target. Someone said, "I think multiplayer <laughs> shut down." I, I think you might be right. I think that was one of the lesser used features of. Hitman oh, that's 1 a bummer. That sounds doing a co op run of a stage sounds like a lot of fun. Hmm. It's not. I don't think it's co op. It's competitive. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Then I can see that maybe not being as good. Yeah. Co op would be fun though. That was the thing that the yeah, people yeah. really liked about Splinter Cell was doing those co op missions. I the only thing I remember from Splinter Cell is those uh those G4 shorts. Oh god, <laughs> yep. And the only one of those I remember is uh I am Thorax the Impaler and I'm Steve. Steve what? The vagina. <laughs> oh, man, that has been a it's been a while since I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah, and there G4's we go. Special Agent back now. Secret Agent uh, Special Agent Bob and Secret Agent Steve. Yep. Good isn't Lord. wasn't one of the Splinter Cell games like the entire game was co-op? Thanks. So. I think there was I, there was like a side co-op portion to it, but I don't think the entire game was co-op. Oh, yeah. I thought one of the shticks of one of the games was that it was the whole thing was co-op. But I didn't I didn't play anything past the second. Is the second one Pandora? Pandora's Tomorrow is the second one. Yeah, original Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory, Double Agent. And Dan then, said there was uh, there was Army of Two, which was fully co-op. Oh yeah, the Army of Two was definitely like that. I'm trying to remember what the other two were, but I remember like at some point he gets younger, and then Blacklist is the last one that came out. I can't remember the one before Blacklist. Conviction, that's the one. Someone in chat reminded me when uh, when I was terrorizing people by knocking them out with a fish, I was caught, and uh, I was being held up at gunpoint by the guards, uh, and they said, "Asshole, put down the fish." <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, right that, there, game, that, that that game's got a good sense of humor that right there is the sign of a really good game if you can <laughs> if you can get like your voice acting guys to say that line for a good reason speaking yes, of we need, we need oh, more fish game. weaponry <laughs> yeah the, speaking uh, of v4 um oh i'll it, Go ahead, Tom. I'll let you well, the, finish. The first, up the first uh, Hitman game came out around the time of the uh, the SAG AFTRA strike. So, like a lot of these, uh, a lot of the locations, um, a lot of like the locations in this game were like supposed to have like voice actors that could do the 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 accents required for that. But because of the SAG AFTRA strikes, they were all um, all the locations just had American accents. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. You look at the later games, and you have like more more like variety in accents than the first one. Huh. Huh. That, uh, uh, yeah, that does kind of make sense, though, because that was right around that time, huh? Yeah. Huh. I, I never even thought of that. That's funny. Anyway, what were we hmm. saying about G4, Jared? Oh, uh, I was just wondering if y'all ever watched Code Monkeys. 
Oh yeah, that was all done like the River City Ransom uh, sprite style. Yeah, yeah. Somebody in chat reminded me of it, and um, like I, I remember I was I was uh, because I remember the the whole freaking intro to that show because I loved it, and uh, I was singing it in the car, and Erica like was just completely blindsided by it. She was like, "How do you know what that is?" And I'm like, "I freaking love Code Monkey." She's like, "Oh my god, I love Code Monkey!" So we got to go back and like watch the entire series again because. It, it is god that's one of my favorite shows i feel bad because i mainly know that song because uh jonathan colton's the one who sings it so it's on a bunch of his old albums wait oh, that... really yeah oh, that's that jonathan the... colton dude no so, wait, I, I didn't Co- know that code monkey like fritos code monkey like tab mountain dew code yeah, monkey simple I... man yeah that's that's Holy jonathan shit. colton so i've I... never heard of this show because i didn't have g4 but i know the song really well because i got to yeah, see jo- i got to see joko in concert huh I did not know that was Jonathan Colton. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Just makes uh, the show even better. <laughs> I love how Jonathan Colton shows up in places no one expects him to. Like he created both, <laughs> he created both songs from Portal One and Two. He created this song, theme song for Code Monkeys. One of his songs, his remixes of uh, "Baby Got Back," got stolen and put into uh, Glee. Yep. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that so, was. That this, was the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So there are, there are two known versions of Baby Got Back. There's the original Sir Mix a lot, and then Jonathan Colton made a slow jam uh, acoustic guitar version uh, that he sung, like, I don't know when it was, like 2008, something like that. And Glee, someone working for Glee, stole that song and put it into the actual episode as, as like, the actors singing and everything, but didn't credit him. And they fought the fact that it was, they said it wasn't his song. Aww. because it was a cover but they blatantly used the version uh where he made one change to the lyrics in the song and he, instead of saying like sir mix a lot it says johnny c so he literally mm-hmm. puts his name in it and they sing his name in the episode oh my god yeah i couldn't remember the specifics of it but i remember it was like very clearly very clearly yeah. stolen. Like, there, yeah. there was no denying that was the Jonathan Colton version. Yeah. Like when you straight up say Johnny C, it's like, okay, that could be any Johnny C. That could be me. Who knows? So I, <laughs> I, um, I was following Thing a Week when it was coming out. And I remember hearing his rendition of Baby Got, Got Back whenever it came out. And I was like, oh man, this is really great. And then like years later, hearing about the whole Glee controversy, I was like, what? <laughs> You guys can't do this, but they can actually because they're powerful and they have all of the money. Yes, exactly <laughs> it. Yeah, exactly. And now y'all know why I don't watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't no. worry, TV's coming to your streaming internet services one channel at a time. Yeah, amen, dude. Amen. I, I, how much is uh how much does YouTube TV cost now? Like seventy bucks? Something like that. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, I have, if as a replacement for cable, it's probably reasonable, yeah. but we don't have cable, so... True, true. Very true. Um, I will say that I am thinking about getting YouTube Red, though, because um, uh, something just came through on Twitch's end, which is really, really sweet. If you're a, um, if you're a partner, you don't get ads on the website anymore. Um, like, if you're watching a stream, if you are a partner, if you are logged in with your account, you don't get any ads, period, anymore, anywhere. And um, I'm kind of missing that on YouTube, to be honest. So I'm probably yeah, no, gonna YouTube end never up... had anything like that, right? Other no, than no, red. like yeah, yeah they... red, red, red was their best thing. Which I think they changed the name of it to YouTube Premium, but I still refer to it as YouTube Red. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will always call it YouTube Red. I can't help it. But I'm yeah. definitely thinking about purchasing that because, like, I I listen to a lot of YouTube while um, if I'm on the road, like I'll I'll listen to it like just over somewhere else and. God, having an ad every 20 seconds drives me freaking crazy. I I got that service, I don't know how long ago at this point, and I never looked back. God, it's it's so nice. On top of that, it still supports the people that you're watching. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like yeah. And, and it and it does it in a way that where like it divides up your like what you watch that month. Uh, like I'm sh- like I'm pretty sure YouTube takes like some profit of it, but then like the rest of it, it divides it up and then splits it amongst like the content creators whose videos you watched. It's like it's yeah, so, it's, it's like so much better than ad revenue. You you actually you actually have a a thing in your um, uh, analytics that says YouTube red revenue. Yeah, um, and that's I think that that's really cool. <laughs> Somebody in the chat was like, uh, "Ad block." I'm like, dude, I'm a content creator. I don't use ad block. <laughs> yeah, no, like. <laughs> 
as, as somebody who who makes a living off of like advertising yeah it's really it's really hard to go to to justify using ad block yeah it really it really is now and that's what and that's really why i love uh doing stuff on twitch though mostly is because of the fact that it's so much more community oriented and uh community driven um and you don't really have to do too many like ad things because of subs and bits and things like that but on YouTube, that is your only option. That is all you get, and good luck. Other than maybe um, uh, memberships, but I think I've yeah. gotten one membership ever. <laughs> so. Yeah, memberships are really are like Twitch. They really only kind of work if you stream. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the, the emotes and everything, because then it makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. But no, like I um, I really, I'm really, yeah. You know what? After after the cast today, I'm gonna or after the uh, podcast, I'm gonna go buy YouTube Red Fricket. I've, I've been meaning to do that forever. But yeah, shout outs to Twitch so, for so making someone uh, else makes a makes a good I'm sorry, uh go ahead. someone yeah. else makes a good point as well that like uh that um uh YouTube premium gives you access to uh to YouTube music as well. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh. Huh. Yep, yeah, yep, I'm doing it. Yep. Pulling pulling that trigger. I'm doing it. <laughs> 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 I will I will I will do it after the stream tonight. I feel like this is just like a couple weeks ago I struggled like should I upgrade like my Xbox Game Pass? Should I get Game Pass? I feel like this is the yeah. same discussion. It's Do so I want funny free like, video games? I have so many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like I'm I'm like that with uh with uh other things though. I'll be like, yo, I'll I'll do I'll do something like I will I'll subscribe to this guy for like five bucks on Patreon, but then I won't do anything that's like it, like other than that, you know, like because I want to support people, but YouTube Red being something that is not directly supporting somebody, I'm like, eh, you know, like I don't want to do it. But I'll, I'll drop like you know a ten gift sub bomb on somebody on Twitch. Is like here you go, <laughs> just go go buy food, please. You know like that's that's the thing that I want to like get through with my uh, purchases. So it's always weird for me. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of which, have y'all ever ordered a pizza on stream? I definitely recommend it. <laughs> oh, that seems like a bad idea. Well, I mean, you don't show what you're ordering. You tell what they're, you don't, you know, you don't dox yourself, of course, but uh, it was, it was really fun actually, because we did that the other day on stream and it was super funny because <laughs> Erica called me right at the end. She's like, I want pizza. And I'm like, you know what? Let's order a pizza live on cast. And it was a 30 minute ordeal because we kept adding more stuff and more stuff and random stuff and freaking it up and having to redo it. And it was just, oh, it was God tier. There was a good time, one, uh... none with half beef. <laughs> <laughs> that was left referenced beef. actually left beef remember left beef left beef during uh during one of the straight i think it was when uh mario maker 2 came out and we were doing story mode um chat had been we had been going back and forth to chat about ice cream and they're like ah you should get ice cream and i'm like we don't have ice cream i'm not going to the store to get ice cream and they're like you should go to the store to get ice cream <laughs> leave us alone so we'll did. be fine in the middle of the stream I I left, Mal stayed and like talked to Chad and played Mario. I drove to the store to buy ice cream. <laughs> and then I and then I came back and we ate ice cream. Did and you was... as you were driving there, did you turn the stream on so you could just like keep tabs on if anything went, <laughs> went wrong? Well, when I got there, I had to call Mal to find out what kind of ice cream. So she's on stream and I she has me on like speakerphone and we're like trying to figure out what ice cream we're going to get. <laughs> Good Lord. Your, speaking of that, your street, your audience really likes to try to get you to call people with Siri. Yeah, what's <laughs> up with that? What is up with that? Listen, every think everything changes every like every month or so. There's like a new thing. There's like a new uh, fun fixation to try and get me to you know do screw something up. Yeah, lately, I have no idea. It, I have no idea. It, you, you, John, you wouldn't know anything about that. No. Uh, Lately, uh, it's been trying to get me to accidentally call people by, like, sending gift subs to, like, oh, God, if I, I can't say it because it'll activate <laughs> people's things. H I almost said it right now, and I didn't yeah. need help. Uh, where, where, is your, where is your phone right now? If it's, if it's, because you have, if you have, like, the, the, like, the sensor, like, if you, it's, like, in your pocket, or if it's, like, or if it's, like, dark, there's, like, a sensor somewhere on the phone where if it's, like, if it's dark, it won't activate, hey, Siri. Yeah, if your phone is face down, it won't. So why don't you put like, me face down? Well, it's because I might activate it for everyone else. Yeah, uh, yeah Tom, all those people that have the Emil in their uh, in their list. Well, I'm not going to use that name. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could, yeah. I guess. 
but like that's the thing is that you know I've activated other people's, um, and sometimes they'll they'll have me do the uh, the the A name robot, mm -hmm. and like I you know I've changed people's lights or whatever, and then I'm like oh crap I'm sorry, <laughs> like I am so I am actually I. I I actually had a conversation about that on cast today because your name came up in my cast today, uh, Stephen, about that. And I'm like, that's like uh, invasive comedy. And I'm not a very big fan of that. To be honest. <laughs> like, it's weird. It's like taking control of somebody else's stuff is just a big no, no for me. I guess because I was like an IT guy and I used like uh, things of that nature and I've seen people like take advantage of that. So it's just like a thing for me that i'm like no nah, i'm not going to activate somebody's phone for the fun of it uh, the, uh, yeah. at all well it, the... it doesn't it doesn't bother me i don't want to activate the audience's stuff um that's my thing as i don't want to do that if 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 they want to try and get through and you know make me activate something on my phone i don't mind because i can turn it off or sometimes my phone is upside down yeah. i just don't want to, i don't want to turn people's lights off <laughs> i've done that i've done that in vlogs because I just didn't think about it. Um, <laughs> was over, that when you had the Alexa installed at your uh, your parents' place? So, like over Christmas, um, one of the things we got from my parents was these these LED light strips that go up in the kitchen, and they're they're activated with the Alexa. Um, and while we were filming them opening it, I was talking about it like in code. I was like, "Okay, <laughs> that that robot can do this thing." So I wasn't mentioning it at all. Then I wanted to show them working, so I'm filming it and I'm not even thinking about it at all. I'm like, "Hey, Alexa, make the lights red, make the lights green, make the lights whatever." Also, my apologies to everyone's lights that got changed. Um, so I did that, and then like I had people commenting like, "Oh, you turned my lights on and off, and then changed the <laughs> colors." And I'm like, "Well, I didn't think about that part. I just wanted to show that the lights were working." <laughs> oh man it's like um I, I probably mentioned this in the podcast once before but it's like the uh the xbox turn off prank where people I'll... change their gamer text to xbox turn yeah. off i was about to say yeah. like uh, my audience used to play like mess with me because i had a connect hooked up to my xbox one so they would constantly be like like uh, they would make me say like hey xbox turn on or something like that I used to do that to my brother, and he would get so mad, so I stopped doing it because I actually made him mad. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would yell it from across the house just to frick with him, and that yeah, that didn't really go over well. <laughs> yeah, it was I've seen like the, like the videos though, where it's like you have like the the you hear like the twelve year old kid coming over the uh, the the um, headset, <laughs> and they're trying to say the guy's name, and they're like Xbox Xbox turn off. Oh no! No 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 no! no. And then it just cuts out. It's like perfectly cut screens. <laughs> <laughs> it always it always comes up with a with a uh, a dialogue box that asks, "Are you sure?" So like so, so like ninety nine point nine percent of the time they won't get cut off. I mean, you can you can make it so that you can ignore that. Yeah. So if someone dis enables or disables that, then yeah, they're a little hooped. One of my favorite things about the uh, the uh, smart home stuff, especially with like the lights and like the, the like the speakers and whatnot, is I've seen somebody have it set where it, where it'll be like, "Hey, blah, 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 uh, you know, intruder alert" or something like that, and then it'll be like, "Change all lights to red and blare an alarm through the speaker." Oh God! I've, I've seen somebody do that with the Doom theme. Like or uh, like like the only thing they fear is you. So they turn the red lights on, and then it just goes. Burr, dur, 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 dur. It's like perfect. <laughs> oh, it's like there's security oh, so, system. Oh, somebody. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, like, I've seen that for like, hey, hey Siri, turn off the lights. Uh, start playing the song, and then activate all Roombas. Yeah, that, that I saw that in chat. It's the uh, activate Doomba, and it's just like somebody equipped their <laughs> Roomba with a knife, and it just like starts going. Screw. <laughs> I've seen. Uh, I've also uh, the similar videos to that. I've seen are uh, are. Um, oh, what was it? Somebody had two Roombas, so they put a knife on each of them and a balloon on the back, and they basically just had a Mario Kart battle with their Roombas. <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> awesome! Oh my god, that's that's just that's just a good time right there. It's a good idea. <laughs> Everyone should do this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone yeah, in yeah, America. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, Jeff Ramsey from Achievement Hunter did that. Oh, my God. That well, is that is something. two Roombas. 
<laughs> that, that was my other. That was my other question. Jeff Ramsey from Achievement Hunter, apparently. Uh, well, so that, that, thing, that that realization is, just sunk in. Like, why the fuck do you have two Roombas? So I, think they, I think they had like a, an older model that was kind of on its way out, so they bought a new one and they just decided to pit them against each other. If you were really into Roombas, like really into Roombas, and you had two floors, then you could get two because they can't travel down the stairs very well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they travel down the <laughs> stairs like a slinky <laughs> dude um, uh, there was a comment that reminded me have y'all heard of the uh, the Roomba that whenever it hits a wall it like spouts profanity <laughs> 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 just goes <laughs> what's that what's that one indie game where you're playing as a Roomba that eats people oh um oh I played that now I don't remember what it's called someone will, someone will remember yeah, Chad, Chad will remind you <laughs> Katamari. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> oh, you know, that spherical it's, Roomba that sticks yeah. to things. Katamari Roomba. is literally Ro- a Ro- giant Roomba. Roomba First Blood. Roomba First Blood. It's um it's a very short game. Like you're not going to get more than an hour's worth of enjoyment out of it, but it's very concentrated humor in that hour and it's <laughs> good for showing people that come over and being like, "Hey, look at this game where you kill people as a Roomba." It's it's comical. Hmm. All right, I guess I'm going to wait for a second. Hang on, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, now, was, now that back, John's gone. Back when, you were, when we were talking about Jonathan Colton, I was going to... Oh, my God, John! <laughs> <laughs> no! You said you were stepping away! All right, I'm back. Okay, guys, how you, how you been? Hi, my name is Proton John. Uh, I'm the host of this podcast, Disc Only. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. He's Tom. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. You know, if I never introduce myself, <laughs> do we do we just stay here in limbo forever? <laughs> it's like it's what like is, clapping. What is my name? Maybe I won't tell you. <laughs> what are you, Rumble Stiltskin? Tom. 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 Oh God. <laughs> I really feel like that should have been followed by an explosion. I really feel so too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a soundboard for that to hooks into my into my input. There he goes. There he goes again. <laughs> Where's the speaking kaboom? Of, speaking of, of kaboom, there's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Um, I had something happen to me that it's never happened to me before. Um, a few days ago, uh, I destroyed one of our lights. With static electricity. Oh. Please tell me yeah. how. Uh, so upstairs especially, which is where my office is, it is super staticky. And, like, I can't I can't stress that enough. Like, the level <laughs> of static in this room is, is absurd. And the other day, we did, uh, it was on Friday, after our stream, we had the lights on, we finished the stream, I go to turn the lights off, and I went to touch the light, and there was a big zap, and it it shut off and i was like well it's probably fine probably just needs a night to sit and then i woke up the next morning and i went to plug it up and nope it was dead Dang. so uh just remember that static is uh dangerous yep it's an electronics killer Gra- so, ground ground yourself on a piece of metal that isn't hooked up to anything electronic so it, and obviously it's a, obviously a, a bigger problem in the in the winter because we're running the heat which is making you know the air dry um so i actually got a humidifier today actually i haven't ho- hooked it up yet but i'm hoping that that solves the problem because um we shock everything i've never seen anything get shocked as much in my life as the elgato stream deck <laughs> and i don't know what it is about the stream deck but every time we go to we go to touch it it shocks it, and I've had to start remembering to touch metal before I touch it and do the, anything the on it. Stream Deck? It has plastic buttons. It, it don't matter. It must be shocking something inside, because every time I touch it, it shocks it, and it does the most bizarre stuff. The colors invert, and this is 100% of the time that I touch it. If I do not touch metal before I touch the Stream Deck while I'm upstairs, I will shock it, and something bad will happen. It will either invert the colors, or it will shut itself off and back on. Steven... I recommend that you replace that stream deck. <laughs> the stream yeah, deck's that fine. Sound safe. <laughs> the stream well, deck is here, fine. Here, I mean, it's not an isolated case of the stream deck. He shocks everything. It's just that he touches the stream deck so often that it continuously gets shocked. <laughs> no. Oh God, Frick. Like 
we we don't really have that problem down here. Uh, well, I mean, you're in you're in SC though. Like, it shouldn't be that dry where you're at, right? I mean, I guess I don't how, know. But how you're closer cold to the ocean than right right now. Are. How cold is it where you are right now? Fifty, fifty degrees, maybe. What did I say? Like at fifty degrees. Um, <laughs> fair enough. Like, like, you know, like, fifty. You know, <laughs> any tree, any tree that big ass rip. Tree, tree, fifty. Why does it think I'm in Cupertino? <laughs> because you're using an you're Apple using device, an iPhone. I, I just want the, the what I want something to happen where it's like the inverse of the problem where things get get too humid and it starts raining in your office. <laughs> it's forty. It's forty. De- well, it's thirty nine degrees and it's going to be thirty tonight. Wow, that must be quaint. Sorry, John. That must be very quaint. All right, let me let me convert for you guys because it's currently in Celsius minus eleven. Let's, 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 let's see if I can convert it. Um, minus 11 like, feels to... like minus 17. I'll give you two tries. Okay. So minus 11. That would be... I'm trying to remember how this how this worked exactly. Is it 8 degrees Fahrenheit? Uh, Damn, I was going to say I was gonna say that as well. 12 feels like 1. Okay. I was, I was close. I was close. I, I'm, I have to do that because I have to say Celsius for, for Erica because she doesn't do Fahrenheit. <laughs> I don't say like, her. you know, it's... It's 60 uh, degrees outside. She's like, what? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Fahrenheit, darling. Not Celsius. We'd be dead. Um, I, I was trying to remember. Someone in chat posted the uh, the the formula to, to get that. And and I always forget. I always I thought it was like like to, to get it was like, um I don't know, like you multiply it times two and then like add 18 or something like that. I don't remember how it was, but somebody in chat posted it's nine, nine over five plus 32. Uh, it's, to convert. It, it's super weird. I usually just... Uh, I try to like uh, estimate it. Like I can't do that math in my head. I just like, oh well, thirty-two is zero, so three must be around thirty-seven, thirty-eight, somewhere around that. You know what I'm saying? Like I just, I can't do it any other way. We uh, we talk about temperature so much on on breakfast stream, and we have so many you know international viewers that the mods have made chat commands that just convert. <laughs> Celsius to Fahrenheit and back. That's neat. That's actually really neat. That's, that's so great. It's, now, is, it's is really this, convenient because if this, I if I say, oh, it's you know this temperature, then the mods will just post that and it automatically converts. So everyone watching that you know knows Celsius is like, oh, okay, and they're just on the same page. Uh, now, was it was it uh, a group effort from from all your mods, or was it Chaz getting pissed off? No, I think that was uh, that, I think that was Fossix, one of our mods okay. that just really likes doing that sort of thing and it's it's actually been super helpful i'm pretty sure we use it every stream because hmm. you're gonna start every morning by being like it's cold oh well what's the weather well it's this oh what's that in celsius there you go <laughs> i just that that's five percent of breakfast stream there you go it's it's so weird like um as as somebody who never really had uh interaction with anybody outside of the states until i started streaming the fact that people used Celsius was weird to me. And <laughs> it's just mind boggling. Like, isn't it? Isn't it kind of crazy though? If you if you lived like in the states your whole life, you really don't think about like outside time zones. You don't think about like uh, people have you know like it, 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 it's it's really weird once you start actually interacting with those like halfway across the world and stuff like that. It's so crazy because I never did it until I started streaming because it was like uh, you you start you work in a situation where you have a global outreach and it's so strange to begin with. But now it's, I talk to my friends and they're like, what do you mean? Like, why do you even do that? It's like, cause it's very important that, uh, you know, that I'm able to talk to people and know like how, at what time it is, like, like what Celsius is, like what type of, uh, so, cause like whenever somebody asks me how tall I am, I'm like, I'm five eleven. And they're like, what's that in centimeters? I'm like, why? But now I know that's why they do it. You know, it's it's so crazy to think about that. I, I also like to think that, like, um, because the metric system is usually like a lot more precise and used for more like scientific and analytical things. That it's like, what is that in centimeters? What? What? Why do you want this information exactly? <laughs> why? Why are you looking for such such precision on this? Yeah, we use freedom mutants here. Okay, like <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking I of mean, it like that. I was thinking I mean, of like we, we of, do like, use. You, it's like, what do you want? My blood? I mean, we, the imperial we do system use is freedom weird. units. We really do. Like we the do. imperial there only, system. Uh, uh, there's only three countries I can think of that that use imperial. 
Yeah. Hey, uh, let's go a mile. Uh, what is that? A uh, five thousand two hundred eighty feet exactly? It's like yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. like, cool. Okay, I've. Uh, oh my god! Like liquids are so much worse in that regard. All right, uh, I need I'm my lip this whole time. I'm just biting my it's, lip. It, it, it's like it's like okay, it's like okay. We got we uh, we got teaspoons. How many teaspoons in a tablespoon? I don't know. Three. Okay, how many tablespoons in an ounce? Three more. I, I don't I don't know the I remember the exact one. How many how many okay. cups are in a how, gallon? How, many how big is cup? Yeah. How many ounces in a cup? Eight, I guess. That's you know who who cares even. How about how about in, how about in a in a uh, 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 a a gallon? Oh, let's say sixteen cups. Dude, Erica, Erica cooking with Imperial units down here is kind of the funniest thing because she's yeah. just like, "What is wrong with you guys?" <laughs> but this is the thing I don't get. This is the thing I don't get because in. Like in Canada, we kind of use both. Like we mainly use like Celsius and and like, yeah. stuff like that. But like for cooking, like all boxes have both Celsius and Fahrenheit on it. Like usually it'll show both types of like measurements and stuff like that for depending on what you're doing. God, so it, it's just like it's weird being in Canada because it's like they force you to learn both in a way. Like I'm used to he hearing my height in like feet and inches versus centimeters, for example, stuff like that. And yeah. I, I always had it like, it's funny you talk about like converting things. Cause like one of the rough things I had growing up was that I lived in Newfoundland, which is a half hour time zone. So literally every other time zone in the world, I think barring like one or two more, uh, were always a half hour behind or ahead of me on top of the usual hours. Oh, so I had weird. to always be like, uh, at a half hour that like my, my parents are currently three and a half hours ahead of me. So it's uh, almost midnight where they are right now. Jeez. Good lord. Good. And that, was, and that was just how I grew up. And then when I moved over here and like I was suddenly on a like on a proper time zone with like everything else, it's like I've always felt like I'm a half hour off or like a half hour late for everything. So I feel <laughs> like everyone jokes like that's the reason why is because of where I grew up. It, Whenever it's, oh. it's like it's like you have a it's almost like uh like uh, I'm trying to think of like a like a um like a misalignment almost. Like you're like <laughs> like it's just like time doesn't feel correct. It was cool whenever me and Erica were uh, long distance because she was over in uh, Saskatoon and I would, I was already up until like two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Normally over here for her, it was one o'clock or like, or well, two o'clock depending. So she would be two hours ahead of me. So it would be perfect because I would stay up super late playing games with her, but it wasn't super late for her because she had to go to work in the morning. So it actually worked very well for us and we were glad. But whenever like uh, daylight savings time happened and she lost that hour, we were only one hour away, then it was like hard. So half of the year while we weren't together, um, it was really easy to play games and then it wasn't really easy to play games. So it's like super strange. Oof. It's going to be 29 degrees in Austin on Thursday. Fun. Celsius. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that's much better. Yeah, <laughs> I'd kill for that right now. I would kill for 29 Fahrenheit at this point right now. <laughs> <laughs> we just pass on all that cold weather. That's what our could... summer normally is, is apparently your winter. Dude, our, our winters down here, like and, Stephen can say, dude, our winters down here are nice on the coast. Oh, my God. Most Texas, of the time, at least. Texas, like at least Austin anyway, is like super weird in terms of like its weather. Because I recall the first winter I moved here, it snowed. And then like in January and February, it's like consistently cold. Mm. And then like that. And, and and but then like this year, it's like January is like absurdly warm. And it snowed. in Yeah, it snowed in Austin last month. I mean, it's so, not incapable of snowing here, but it's rare. It's sure unlikely. Must it's be probably nice. not. Probably not. You, the, do you want me to lie to you, <laughs> <laughs> John? It's wonderful. I don't know where I'm going to go in my life. I don't know where I'm going to move, but I never want to move far enough north that I have to regularly deal with snow because it's awful. I really don't want to do it. I, I, my goal is to just, I'll go back to my parents' house for, uh, for, for fall because they, because fall in Texas is just brown and I miss reds and yellows in my leaves. So I go up there for like, I don't know, uh, <laughs> may, er, before Halloween, maybe, and just, you know, be, be one of them, be, be a leafer. We watch the leaves. We wanted to have an outdoor fall wedding. 
when we were getting married back in 2018. And it snowed the day before. Ooh. It was September. Oh, no. Gross. Yeah. My uh, my friends, uh, you you know Sondalyn, right, John? Yeah. Okay, yeah. She uh, she had uh, her wedding at uh, at my parents' house in the fall. It was that that was a really nice wedding. Hmm. Oh, um, you 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 know what the funny thing is about snow down here? At least y'all know how to drive and do stuff in it john because down here i guess yeah if if there is a snow flurry (laughs) if there is a if if they think it's going to snow down here if they if they have like an inkling somebody puts their freaking finger up to the wind is like ah it's gonna snow people start losing their minds down here man everyone pulls out their their you know the, the 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 local government pulls out their their dinner triangles and starts ringing and going close the down close it down <laughs> dude like okay whenever we were going to magfest in i think it was 2019 there was a bomb cyclone that was uh that was off the coast and basically bringing snow up from south carolina all the way up to nor uh to new york so we were out running that in our car but wh- whenever we whenever we were leaving right it was it wasn't snowing yet there was a little bit of ice and the police had shut down the bridge out of our county. We were the last people that were allowed to go over that bridge before they shut it down while we were leaving. And if we, if we weren't there at the time that we were, we would have had to take a 45 minute detour around the entire county to get back onto the same interstate. It's Freaking... coming! Go, 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 go! It's, it's on its way! Right. <laughs> we're being left to, back here! Good luck, everybody! Every man for himself on this side of the bridge! It's gonna be really cold! Holy I mean, frick. Like, it's the worst, dude. So, like, in fairness, in fairness to us, because folks that live in places with snow don't understand that we don't mm. have the infrastructure here to deal with it. But oh, yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah. We don't. You know, if, if someone's <laughs> if someone's listening in and they're like, ah, oh, the Southerners ah, with the snow. But the truth is, we don't have the stuff to deal with it. So people can't drive on the roads, but they do anyway. They also have no experience. And there are exactly. so many wrecks. There's, and there's yeah. exactly. So many wrecks. There's there's also a lot of reasons like why to not have it. Like why? Like, why would you want your your tax dollars going towards going towards like something that might happen? Yeah. Once a year, if that. You I realize tell you what, that's though. called insurance, right? <laughs> <laughs> so there's something that's really funny about, uh, for example, Saskatoon. If if uh, if they got a rain, like a small rainstorm, they'd be flooded. We could take the brunt end of a full force hurricane, and we'll just be like, "Oh, we're fine," because our drainage is so good, right? But like, if if y'all get like a bad thunderstorm, y'all are flooded out, like complete. Well, she was flooded out completely, but. It's it's like it's ridiculous like how different that is because y'all could take a blizzard, we could take a hurricane, and it works out perfectly. But if you frick those up, if you switch them, like, <laughs> oh god! Oops! Accidentally swapped the hurricanes with the blizzards. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> god is going to be pissed. <laughs> so the, like, the, there's so much flooding. What's going on? Why didn't you bring the salt bags? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, there was um a few years back, I'm sure Jared remembers this. We had uh they they kept calling them like this like this means anything. They kept calling them the one hundred year floods. They're like, Oh, the flood that it's gonna be the one hundred year flood. We haven't seen anything like it in a hundred years. And I'm like, Well then why does it keep happening? <laughs> oh, get, no, get the ark. I if, remember there, that. There would be there would be terrible terrible rain with terrible terrible storm storm surge a lot of times as a result of hurricanes but yeah. then it, they would say it again like the next year they'd be like well it's a, you know it's a hundred year flood and I'm like no I think that's like one year I yeah think you have the you have it wrong where's your decimal point like come now it, like that was a, that was the stupidest thing it didn't make any sense because I mean we we probably get hit by or at least swiped by a hurricane once a year right if not if not more. But like our drainage systems are really good, and um, and that's th- that's something that always uh, amazes Erica because like there it will be in like a small rainstorm, and she'll just be like, "Oh my god, I would never drive out in this in uh, in Canada," and I'm like, "I mean, 
I, I'm going through like puddles that are deeper than they should be. <laughs> and uh, she's freaking out. And I'm like, don't worry. I've, I've literally, I can drive in this like no problem, but you put some snow on the ground and I'm, I'm not the best whenever it comes down to snow and ice. Like I, I drive a bit too fast for that. Yeah. Well, it sounds you, like you, you have need to... see now what's going to happen is there's going to be like a combination of what's going to happen there. Oh, there's going to be like the really deep puddles and a buttload of snow at the same time. <laughs> So then That's you and Erica sleep. will have to you'll you'll have to combine your driving abilities. We'll just both like, be in the same seat. Like yeah, <laughs> you do the pedals, exactly. I'll do the steering oh, no. wheel. You'll, you'll, you'll get one of those uh, those driver's ed cars with the passenger side as a brake. <laughs> oh God! Hearing, hear, hearing Jared talk about the 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 drainage and everything, I'm like, oh my God, we live. Even though we live in the same state, we live in extremely different places. <laughs> someone, yeah, I know. Someone in chat said in all caps, double dash. So now <laughs> Jared, Jared and Erica just like switching. Because the, the f- <laughs> I am Jared. <laughs> <laughs> the flooding, the flooding that we've had over the past few years has been insane. Like it's, it's been wild. Like even just witnessing what we've had in our own backyard has been nuts. Mm-hmm. But in some of the like the neighborhoods uh, near us, like houses have been ruined just in the past few years because you know the water gets up, you know sometimes like three or four feet. Yeah, um, which is wild. There was actually um, a few years back. It might have been. I think it was Hurricane Matthew. I'm not sure which one it was. We had went over. It was it was raining really hard. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't a hurricane. It was just a storm. It was just a normal storm. Yeah. We went over to my parents' house and we were going to have shrimp. I don't know why that part of the story is important, but I remembered it, so I'm including it. <laughs> we went over to my parents' house, and we had some shrimp. And I remember as we were going over, it was starting to rain. And Mal was like, man, I have a bad feeling about this. And I was like, nah, it's fine. There's going to be shrimp. And in my defense, <laughs> there was going to be shrimp. We get over to my parents' house. There was shrimp. I didn't lie. We eat the shrimp. It was delicious. We loved it. Uh, on the way back, we're getting ready to leave. And... Um, My mom's like, man, it's raining really hard. Like, maybe you guys should just stay the night here. You could, you know, stay in the the spare room, whatever. I'm like, nah, we don't live that far away. We can do this. It'll be fine. So we're we're leaving. And whenever we're on our way out, I was like, well, I could take the main road. I was like, but the main road floods really bad. I got it. I'll cut through this neighborhood because I could cut through this neighborhood. So with a belly full of shrimp, I go into the neighborhood. (laughs) I'm driving. And it's... Everything's fine. I really need to point that out. Everything is good. Nothing's he's high, wrong. He's high pitched. He's stressed. All for everything's, it. everything's good. And then I turn this corner and we're driving. And all of a sudden, I mean, like, with no warning, the water is over the hood of the car. And I had an escape. Holy crap. And I was like, wait, what? Like, it just the, happened. For, for, for context, your car was a Ford Escape. Not that you had an escape plan from the flood. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ejector no, no. seats activate. So, like, there was this brief moment of, like, huh, that's water on the hood. And then my brain going, oh, God, that's water on the hood. And the car shut off, which was interesting. The en- It killed the engine, and the lights went off, so everything died. We floated across. What? And then we hit the the road again the car came back on and i drove us home see what and happened what? You, touched, <laughs> you touched the steering you wheel again the and, river and... you boarded the goddamn river in now, like an oregon trail now is now is pointing out to me that was tropical storm joaquin oh so, oh yeah can i don't I, go I, I, out I, even eat i know I know everyone listening right now loves shrimp. I do too. But it's not worth no, dying on. for. Shrimp are not worth dying for. Just can I, uh, Steven, can I uh can I just like uh 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 approximate what was going through your head that entire time? Uh sure. Shrimp. 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 <laughs> oh shrimp. God. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Shrimp. 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 That seems I accurate. wasn't thinking of the sh- I wasn't thinking of the shrimp on the way home. The shrimp was done. <laughs> you, you were, but you, on the way, you, on the way there, but, yes. But you were, you, uh, you had eaten the shrimp, and you were thinking about how good that shrimp was the entire time on your way home. That's what I you were thinking love, about, and that is, that's the only truth I will accept from that story. We, we can tell, Stephen. We know you like shrimp. You like shrimp enough to go through a freaking tropical storm to get that shrimp. <laughs> the, the problem, the problem with road flooding is that. 
like generally what happens and this isn't what happened in our particular instance generally what happens is that you you underestimate how deep the water is yeah so you're mm-hmm. you're you're driving and you're like oh that's not that deep and it doesn't take much water to move the car completely if it moves the car completely it can put you into a ditch it can flip your car upside down you can't get out you drown you die which is a bad way of of dying although we would have died with shrimp in our bellies so eh. oh my god uh, I, I'm, I'm dying at the chat just posting shrimp spelled in all caps with spaces between each letter the thing that happened to us specifically is that we could not see that there was water at all because it was dark. I mean, it's super dark. I mean, even though we had the lights on, when we turned the corner and we started going, we did not know that that was water. <laughs> the road dipped. We did not know the road dipped, and that was full of water. We had no way of knowing that that was, that was water. And that was, uh, that, was a, that was a scary moment. And Steven, that, that right I re- there, man. I realized something, oh. Stephen. Why do you have so many stories about you almost dying? John, I've lived a very dangerous life. (laughs) Another thing thing I can think of as well is as you're driving along, you're like, huh, this is a very thick fog. What's going on here? (laughs) Do you want to hear do you want to hear another story about me driving in a car that almost was washed away, John? Because I have another one. (laughs) Of course you do. Of course you you do. You are a slow learner. Well, this one this one was not. This I didn't have a choice. This this other one I didn't have a choice. This was when yeah there was shrimp involved. Well, no, no shrimp involved. Although okay. I wish there I wish there had been. This was whenever <laughs> uh, a few years back we had went to stay with a meal for the hurricane. Me and Mao and and my parents uh, we had loaded up the cars and went to stay with her uh, with a meal for the hurricane because we were worried about the house. When we left, we were on our way back and uh, we thought we would be. I, I guess this is kind of our fault. We thought we would be clever on our way, on our route home because we were like, well, the roads are going to be busy because people are trying to get back or whatever. We're going to go. We're going to go this other way. We thought that ultimately it would be faster. It ended up slowing us down. Long story short, by the time we got through this tiny little town, the water was coming up, and they were actually closing the roads. We were one of the last cars that they let through, and they were putting the cones up to be like, you can't get through this road. It is mm-hmm. flooded. What are you doing? Yeah, and uh, that was. That was another moment uh, that was actually more horrifying in a way because I had all of my stuff with me. We had, I had Mao, I had Sagan and Kepler. I had every valuable video game in my life in the car. And I was like, man, if something happens, I'm going to die. I don't, what am I going to do? I'm just going to be stuck in the car. Yeah, it was not great. That that reminds me. Of... I'm gonna die. <laughs> did did you have? Please tell me you had the mem- the like the the GameCube memory card in there. So it's like I'm gonna die with Peggy. <laughs> I'm gonna die holding my copies of Earthbound. Oh God. <laughs> oh my Lord. So uh, I can't remember what hurricane it was, but it um it was about maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, and it it basically hit us like pretty hard. It was only like a Category One. Uh, maybe a category two, I can't remember, but it it hit uh, it hit our county pretty hard, and we have a we have a downtown area where we have like a boardwalk or whatever uh, we call it, yeah. So we we while we're because we're out of town for this because we weren't staying like I can't remember where we went I can't remember if we went up to uh, uh, Canada or where we were we were looking at the news and like different pictures that were coming over social media of the entire downtown area flooded completely. And one picture that stuck out was one of the bars that was downtown was completely. And I mean, utterly filled with water just to the point where it was like right underneath the bar line. Right. You know, like, like you're at a bar and like, there's the, um, the, the countertop or whatever it was right underneath there. And there were, (laughs) I tell you what, through heck or high water, that place did not close because there were people in there. (laughs) drinking sitting on the stools like with the building filled with water i'm talking completely filled with water and they're just chilling like smiling having a beer just hanging out and i'm like y'all are in the middle of a category two hurricane the waves are coming into the building and y'all are sitting there drinking (laughs) that's what it's cool and refreshing that is the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen in my life and I don't think I've ever laughed as hard. That's, That's a dangerous lie. too, because the the storm surge water is like 
a yeah. bacterial nightmare. Yeah, but I'm, they're it, just it's like okay, they're drinking booze. They're just infecting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like that... I, so I, I thought where where I was hoping you were going to go with this is <laughs> shrimp. That... It, 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 yes, that too. Uh, but uh, it. <laughs> But like it, it, like the picture I'm I'm painting in my head of that scene is almost perfect, except for the fact that nobody is on like floaty toys, like at the spa hotels, God, with the bars in the middle. I would have died. Pool. Like that I would if somebody if somebody had a flotation device in that freaking building in one of those pictures, I think I would have actually deceased. <laughs> like oh my god. Out of a like the like like the uh, the animal based inner tube where it's like yeah, yeah. Right, like the flamingo neck coming out yeah they're just on a killer whale just chilling yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like the crocodile floaty or something yeah. <laughs> oh crap oh my god yeah hurricanes are weird they they either they either destroy literally everything or nothing at all down here it's either one or the other how often do you even deal with those around there um. Well, well, this we this went... year wasn't that bad. Yeah, wasn't I this mean, the so... year that also they ran out of letters to use? They did, but none of them hit us, so we're happy oh, okay. about that. Uh, now we this, we did. This year uh, was this year was one of the worst years on on record. Absolutely. The, however, it was before. So what was really strange is that Mal moved here in twenty eleven. I think twenty eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, and for many, many, many years, we did not have, like, any hurricanes. Or they were, like, I think we got maybe a category. I think uh, maybe Matthew was our first one, and that took a few years. And it was so bizarre because I, was, I had been t- telling her about, you know, growing up. Because growing up, we would deal with two or three hurricanes a year minimum. It just, it just kept happening. <clears throat> and the fact that we went multiple years without dealing with any, I was like, man... I know this isn't how it works, but like we are overdue for this. Like I don't know <laughs> when this is going to happen, but this is going to happen. Yeah. And uh, they've certainly ramped up in the past few years. And then, of course, 2020 was was actually a record breaking year. Thirty and uh, thirty yeah. main storms in 2020. They wow. went into the freaking Greek alphabet: alpha, beta. I can't remember after that because I'm terrible. But yeah, it was. It was kind of freaky. Um, luckily, and and if anybody dealt with any of the storms in 2020, like I wish y'all all the best. My God, um, but like there were six, if I'm not mistaken, there were six major hurricanes, and I'm looking this up. Thir- well, yeah, 13, 13 hurricanes and freaking 31 total tropical depressions. Like in in uh, whether it became a hurricane or not, I, I pulled it up. That's freaking crazy, dude! Like that is ridiculous. We'll we'll probably get like maybe one big time risky storm um, a year, maybe uh, if it hits directly. We haven't had a direct hit, knock on wood, in a long, long time. Um, but yeah, it's like you 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 kind of like bet for one to either sideswipe you or do some iffiness around here. But it's usually not too bad. Lucky. I mean, it's luckily. <clears throat> Yeah, we've we've had more of the brunt of it, but we also live five miles from the, from yeah. the water, so um, it's not a good situation. Uh, you know, long term, long term. Yeah, this is prob where we live now is probably not a great place to be. <laughs> we're actually we're out of the uh, storm surge area, which is lucky. Like we we live on a very uh, higher point of land, even though. Um, we would need a storm surge of around 30 to 40 feet, which is catastrophic in order for the water to get to where we're at. Cause we, we do live on a, um, on a coastal area, but it's an inlet on a, uh, a river. Um, no, it wouldn't be a river. It would be, uh, yeah, it technically a river. Anyways, uh, it would need, you would need a 30 to 40, uh, foot storm surge. And that right there, like you're a cat five plus is what's going to cause that. And frick. <laughs> no, bad juju go away. Like we're not <laughs> we're not even going to think about that because that would be terrible. Well, so I'm okay with I, snow uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I first moved down to uh to Austin, uh it was August of uh, of 2017 and uh we planned the move to happen around the time of the um solar eclipse. Mm. So as so like it was like a 3-day drive on the second day we stopped in at a uh, at a Mexican restaurant and just sat there and watched the uh, the eclipse happen which was really neat because at that point we were in the path of totality. Um so uh you know we finished that up and we we get down there 
And, uh, you know, my, uh, at this point I'm just couch crashing at my, uh, at my buddy's place. So like we move all my stuff in and, uh, and you know, I get, get, uh, st- I say couch crashing, but I had a room at that place. Um, but, uh, so, uh, so we got everything set up, my parents leave. And then, uh, I'm thinking like, oh, this is, you know, this is great. I'm here during the summer. Like, what's the weather going to be like a week outside of hurricane Harvey? Oh no. Oh God. So Harvey was a nightmare. Yeah. It it like it wasn't it it hit Host- Austin pretty hard, but like where where I was wasn't uh wasn't terrible, but it it could have been a lot worse than it was. I I got lucky. I got real lucky. Yeah, storm it... storms are freaking something. Like you don't underestimate them, man. You gotta have respect for the weather. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I was I was looking at that weather only podcast, and I'm the only one who's still happy in that picture because Jared and Steven are underwater, John's in the snow, and I'm having a great time in the sun. <laughs> uh, That's really good. I like the fish swing by Jared and Steven. <laughs> yeah, weather. Oh, no shrimp. Weather. Though. I'm surprised. No shrimp in that water. Weather only. Weather scary. I I've often had conversations with people over the years about. Um, hurricanes versus uh, tornadoes specifically because we mm-hmm. don't like it's not impossible for us to get a tornado but that's not our shtick our shtick is obviously hurricanes <laughs> yeah and um, I fear tornadoes more than hurricanes because I'm like dude they just show up and they just destroy things yeah and, they like people that, and then they vanish and then people that live in tornado areas are like are you kidding me the hurricane is gigantic if the winds don't destroy your stuff your 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 place will get flooded and I'm like, but they're slow. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. And, well, depending, well, depending, you, of you, course. <clears throat> I mean, you you get you get notice. You have time. That's the that's the main difference between like a uh, a storm that produces a tornado and then a uh, a hurricane based storm is like, oh, you get to watch that sucker encroach, but like not not a tornado, dude. <laughs> the, and, and the problem. The, oh, god, god. Well, I was gonna say people that deal with tornadoes like often. Are not, are not even really phased by them. The first time I went to visit Mallory in Wisconsin, we were sitting dinner. Um, I was having dinner with her, her and her mom, and uh, the tornado siren started going off. Oh no! And I was like, "Should we? Should we do something?" And they're like, "Oh no, that's that's just that goes off this time every week." I was so it was like freaked out, <laughs> and I thought we were gonna die. And they're like, "No, no, that's just the thing that happens." And I was like, "Oh, okay." I tell you what, sure. I saw a, I saw a water spout once. I almost crapped my pants. It scared me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh... Like those are tiny ones, man. Those are tiny ones out over the water. They don't do any damage whatsoever. And I'm just like, oh, it's a mother. Whoa, <laughs> that's a tornado, dude. I've, uh, that. I've I've been told that I have it that I bring weather with me where I go. <laughs> so in in like 2014, I went to California to visit my buddy Lyle. Um, and uh, it was just like, it, like uh, it was something that my dad wanted wanted to do as uh, well because uh, we were flying from Philadelphia to Las Vegas and they're gonna drive the rest of the way to California because in because we were going in February and around that time flights from Philadelphia to Vegas are really cheap. Like hmm. I think we flew out there for like sixty bucks. Oh, wow. uh, so like, so like it was it was like raining in Connecticut like the like the the day of uh, we were going there. And uh, I, I get to like Lyle's place, it's, like sunny for like the first two days, and then like, and we were, and I was only there for like three days. And on the third day, um, it starts raining. And he's like, "Oh man, I'm, dude, I'm sorry about this. That that uh, that you know, you had to come here while it was raining." It's like, I did just came for, and it was like the first rain that happened in L.A. in like months. Dude, did you say you flew out there for sixty bucks? Yeah, it was uh, like it that's was, what it, I'm stuck on. Like, yeah, no, d- like from from Philadelphia to Vegas in February is really cheap, dude. I think about getting on an airplane and freaking a hundred dollars leaves my pocket instantly. Like, <laughs> there's there's a lot of there's a lot of flights to Vegas specifically that are actually really inexpensive. Yes. It's uh, really, it's, really it's I can't imagine because, why. Yeah, it's because really the really space really economy uh, is just that good. Yeah. <laughs> They know once you get there, they'll get some of that change. <laughs> you may not be able to get back on a flight out. So. <laughs> it's Oof. always a one-way trip. If it's a one-way trip, it's even more uh, cheap. It's perfect. Oh, uh, frick. Yeah, we did a, we did a cross-country road trip um, a few years ago. We flew to California, and then we rented a car and drove all the way back. And whenever we s- booked a hotel in Vegas, it was a very nice hotel, and it was very inexpensive. Yep. Hmm. 
It also so, depends yeah. on it also depends on when you go in Vegas because if uh, if there's uh, more demand than supply, then the prices skyrocket. Yeah. Also, Vegas is just a cool place to visit. Like I, I understand that it has a obviously stereotypical reputation about casinos or whatever. But it's just like just walking around. It's really cool. Like if you like just want to like sightsee, on the strip, it, like on the strip in particular, or, or like around the city entirely. Uh, like on the strip, just walking okay. the strip and 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 walking th- into a casino. And then you're just wandering through a casino, and then it turns into a mall, and then it turns into another casino, and then it turns into another mall, and then it turns into another casino, and then when you emerge <laughs> back onto street level, you don't know where the hell you are. That's <laughs> fun. I like the, that a lot. The, 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 uh, the, airports, crazy. the airports coming in and going out of Vegas have slot machines in them. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. <laughs> They want you to start early. Left. They want you to get warmed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to. I got to work out my uh, my my uh, my lever pulling arm. Dude, I want to go back to a <laughs> casino, man. I I I really like going to casinos, like um, especially with Erica because she keeps me in check. Um, <laughs> like like I I I wouldn't say I have a gambling problem, but like I would I would spend some money. Addictive at a casino personality is is really what. It yeah. Is, I'm I'm the same way where I'm just like mm-hmm. I I can't. I'll just be like, yeah. okay, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Where's my wallet? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Me and, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm glad the times we went to Mohegan Sun, I'm glad Reese was with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I'm because i like, because it's a different currency there. So it's like, okay, oh, I, that's to, true, I can't yeah. just go to an ATM. And if I do, I get an extra fee on top of it. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm losing money at the ATM to lose money at the casino. <laughs> so really, it's just like an endless loop at that point. <laughs> I really like uh, this comment. It was like, Jared's one of those old people on the penny slots. No, the problem is, is that I am not on the penny slots. That's my problem. Um, but like whenever, whenever me and Erica went up to uh, Canada, we went to one, of, one or two of the casinos up there. And man, it's just, it's such a fun time, dude. Like uh, you get like free drinks and stuff and it's really cool. Uh, cola for me, of course. Um, but like, yeah, man, I freaking miss it, dude. Like I want to go back. If I, uh, if I ever get to like if if I ever get to a roulette table, I'm probably not leaving. I love roulette. Dude, blackjack's my game, man. Blackjack though. Oh. Poker. I like poker, but like I'm bad at poker. That's the shitty thing. Like, <laughs> I, I can't I, I have fucking Jimmy Fallon syndrome. I can't keep a straight face. How do you think I feel? Why do you think I've never sat at the poker table, man? I'll be sitting there, they'll give me a they'll give me an ace, I'm like, <laughs> like it's freaking <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what's wrong with you? Like, like, I promise. It like, turned into Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Bro, I would have to wear a Guy Fox mask in order for p- me to play poker. Like, five card stud? Dude, I'd be fricked. My poker face does not exist. See, I like the idea of going into a casino with a $20 bill and using that $20 bill on one thing and then exiting the casino. <laughs> Without that $20 bill. Possibly. <laughs> but maybe not, Tom. But, See, maybe, a, but yes, I, I guess I, I, that begs the question, though, when you do earn winnings from that top $20 bill, where does it stop? Uh, immediately. So I'm, <laughs> I'm the opposite. I, so I'm the opposite. I am. I'm disciplined to the point of I, I know the exact amount of fun that I'm going to have before I enter any establishment. Oh, my goodness. So I walk into the casino and I say I am going to have $20 of fun exactly. And that is it. Full stop. And if so, okay. I can, I'll use it in one go, and then I'm done, and I have so, no desire to keep playing. So I guess, like, I guess what I'm asking is, do you do you use that twenty dollars in a way where it's like I put twenty dollars down, or rather, I put five dollars of that twenty dollars down, I won ten dollars back, but I still, but I, my so now my budget for playing at the casino is fifteen dollars. Is that how you you go about it? Uh, or is, or or is or is the entirety of the winnings part of that twenty dollars now? There. There is twenty dollars. Period. You don't play with the winnings at all. Okay. You so have so yeah. Okay. Dollars and that's it. So gotcha. so you bet five dollars. You win ten dollars back. That ten dollars <laughs> is now separate from the rest of the twenty dollars. So there's only fifteen dollars left at that point. Listen, no, twenty people bucks, who don't want to lose it. their money. <laughs> also, also no. twenty dollars is the actual amount. This isn't a hypothetical amount. This is. It doesn't matter what. I know I'm it's making. not a hypothetical amount, but it's but it's a hypothetical situation where where 
I'm, 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 not, I'm assuming you don't just throw the twenty dollars at the table and say like what, whatever happens happens. I'm assuming you're you're playing like like a, a bits of it at a time. Am I am I wrong in that assumption? Well, no, no. I was uh, just I like to that... get I like to get it over with. I like to okay, walk so... somewhere and use twenty dollars in one go. I either win or I lose. It doesn't matter. I've got things to do and I'm out. <laughs> so, uh, like, I, it I, took I, three I hours to get here, Steven. Why are we already leaving? <laughs> I, I just I, want I mean... to sightsee and eat shrimp, Jonathan. That's all I want to do. No, no. Okay, so let me let me preface that. <laughs> God dang it! You 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 budget to go in a casino, but, but it was funny because Keon in the chat was like, "Who budgets at a casino?" And I was like, "No, that makes sense because you go in with a certain amount, but you have fun with the winnings as well." Like my my philosophy is, you always leave on a loss, even if like oh, if God. you. No, 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 listen, no that's listen. that's common. That's really common. I'm with Jared on that. So so what you do is like let's say I walk in with a hundred bucks. I win 120, I lose 80, and then I have, I don't know, like I play a little bit more and I, I end up with around $80, right? If I won that last hand, I play one more time and lose, but not very high because you always want to leave on a loss. So you don't feel like, oh, I won, so now I'll go back and I'll win more. You know what I'm saying? Like you always leave on a loss because it, uh, it severs that like serotonin connection to the win. And then you can leave without any regret. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that weird? Is that so weird? I mean that, that's not weird anymore. I, I, I was kind of on the same boat. I was on the same boat with Steven here because I, I thought when you said leave out a loss, it was like, okay, I'm no, no, leaving no, no, with not like I lost money. my car. Yeah, yeah, no, no, wait. Yeah, no, not, not, like, like, not like you leave with less money that you came in with. You no, leave no. with less money than what you won. Yeah, well, no, 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 not even that. Like the last thing that you do, you want to leave on a loss so that you don't have that will or want to continue playing, if that yeah. makes sense. To break the addiction. Like, it, that, yeah, you, you, you break that, uh, that cycle. And I mean, like, I, no, I'm not saying like, you know, freaking lose your shirt. That's not what I'm yeah, trying to I say. I understand no, no. that philosophy. I think that that's a reasonable philosophy. I don't, yeah. it doesn't apply to me, but I'm, pr I guess I'm just a little bit different because I, I'm going to spend $20 and that's it. And there's yeah. not a chance I'm going to spend more. I, well, yeah. I, I mean, the, Steven, I know you don't you go for it. Uh, St Steven, I know you don't drink, but why am I imagining you just like sauntering up to a, to a, a roulette table with a $20 bill and be like, put it on three and then walking away <laughs> before the ball's done spinning. You're just I mean, done I, that I would love to do that, Tom. As soon as cool, as soon we'll get you. Uh, you know what? I took that. I took that as a blank statement of getting you an, an alcohl. So, so damn, we're going to do it. Oh, I so don't like, have to, I don't have to be intoxicated. I just have to be tired. So, so <laughs> another, an, another little strategy, like for something like that is you, you like, let's say you have, you have $50, right? You go in with $50 and you only you can only play with that 50 bucks but like if you want to if you want to continue playing later on like let's say you you won to where you have like $20 in winnings after you're done with the 50 you can then extend your time because i don't go to a casino to win money cuz you're not but i go to a casino it's like an arcade you know it's like yeah. a, a a a big daddy arcade where you just you you know i go to an arcade i spend 50 bucks i want to play 50 bucks worth of games but that's just me, you know, and always know that, you know, you go into a casino, you're going to lose like sure. you, whatever, whatever yeah. money you have budgeted. It, you just it, think it, of it as a gone as gone. It depends lost. on your intent. If you are, yeah. if it is an afternoon with the guys, then the guys are not going to think very fondly of you. If you're like, well, I spent all of my money immediately. I bet it all on red three. Are you guys ready to go to well, Burger King? Well, no, don't, see, that, like, don't do that. That's a different experience. Yeah. That's you being like, I hate it here. I'm out. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's just being a brat. Yeah, no, no, like, twenty dollars I could have put on it's shrimp. Going, obviously, it's going to depend because I have yeah. spent a, an entire evening at a casino before. Did I spend twenty dollars? Yes, but I did it spread out by playing a lot of little exactly. tiny games. Sure, exactly. Yeah, uh, and like, and that's the main thing. Um, is you you know what you're going to play with whenever you walk in. That is the number one thing. You know what you got. You only use that if you win. You can continue playing, but if you lose it all then you're done because that is the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like once you're like, Oh, I could, I could go get another hurt, like $50. Why not? You know? And then, then you start getting in trouble. The other thing is thing that is. while you are there, you are getting free soda. And that is why you should Frick, prolong yeah. your time <laughs> as long as possible, because I'm probably going to drink more than $20 in Coca-Cola anyway. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You, you have to definitely pre-decide the hard stop. That's, that's, uh, very true. Uh, see in the chat, like that. That is a that is a main thing with casinos because like there there are some like there are some people that I know personally that don't have that stop button, 
and it's like, oh, how are you getting home? You know, <laughs> like, yeah. like that is not a that is not a very good thing to have to experience. But um, it's always it's always moderation. You know, moderation is key in anything. Plus, free soda, bro. Let's go. Yeah, personally, if, I can't. If, if you're gambling, gamble responsibly, please, for the love of God. Exactly. I, I, yeah. And 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 if you're also uh, someone who consumes alcohol while gambling, drink responsibly because because <laughs> th- 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 that's a that like not a, I, alcoholic beverages are also a bottomless well at a casino. So yeah, no, that's know. why they lower your inhibition, so you want to bet, bet more. So that's why they do exactly. It. And that's why they'll give you all the free stuff you want, uh, including like uh, I, I stayed at a uh, resort hotel one time um, in Atlantic City. And they would give you a they they'll give you a free hotel room, uh, they'll give you free just about anything. They'll give you free food, free drinks, free boarding, as long as you're in that casino playing or playing, you know, because that's where they make their money. They don't make it on the hotel. They don't make it anywhere else. They make it on the the you know, hey, this is free money for us, basically, you know. And um, it, it's really crazy how much comp they will actually give you. Uh, but you know, <laughs> their main play is to get as much money as they can out of your pocket. So always remember that. You're not going there to win. You're going there to have a good time, hopefully, and then <laughs> quit. <laughs> Personally, I cannot wait for the casino edition of Disc Only, where we perform live in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's not planned. It's just we're all at the roulette table, and we have the gear to do it, and they yeah. keep saying, please... There are other people at the table. Please, you can't please do leave. Oh, I was. I thought we were going to rent out a theater like those those two guys with the white tiger. I, I can never remember yeah. their names. Oh yeah. No shoot. Ah, oh, damn it. Dude, I, I can't remember something about them yeah, yesterday. Just died. One of them just really? died. I think. Yes, actually, just died. Recently, Steve Frieden Roy. Thank Steve you, Roy. Yep. Yep. Oh man. No, not Penn anyway. and Teller, Dan. No, not Penn and Teller. They're still Penn and Teller. No, they're alive. Yeah, like, I love... Oh my goodness, Dan is our teller. <laughs> well, he, he, I mean, he could. He, I mean, he, he he didn't even he didn't even break that silence this entire podcast. True. <laughs> Here's his chance, though. If he wants, he can throw in uh, a couple words that he wants to throw in. Dan, you want to take it away? Sure. All right. Thanks, Dan. Loved it. <laughs> thanks, Dan. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I have a feeling that's the sign we should probably wrap up for the day. All right, here's our talking points for this month's podcast. Oh, it's time for Jeopardy! Time for Jeopardy! All right, talking points. Groundhog Day intro. Close birthdays. Bad tells. Can a man thrice. Another video service. Hey, Siri. (laughs) set, Set Roomba to kill. Shock Grandpa. Weird units. Every snowman for themselves. Drowning for shrimp. And pulling levers. And Groundhog Day intro. And Groundhog Day intro. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, did damn you it. Know? We said, we, no, we said that twice. Hang on a second. We, see, we said that twice. Do the intro again. Oh, frick. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Disc Only Podcast, the podcast that never seems to end or start. My name is Proton John, and our talking I'm points today. Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. All right, what we all got going on this week? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start if you don't mind, because I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, okay, uh, we obviously skipped talking about it, but uh, this Friday is the TRG 10th anniversary. So the channel has been around for 10 years. Good Lord. So we are going to try to do a tier G themed stream on Friday. Uh, the details are still being worked out, but it will be starting earlier than my usual streams. I think we're looking at like maybe five my time, uh, which would be seven Eastern. Uh, it's going to be me, Emil, Tim, and maybe some other TRG related people. We will see, but uh, we're still working on that one. Otherwise, uh, tomorrow is power trip for my community so we raffle off who gets to pick the next game we play on stream uh thursday's my regular podcast top 10 perspective and if uh, depending on how friday stream goes saturday is fortune cookie and also today was an anniversary that we on purpose didn't talk about just to kind of fuck with people (laughs) (laughs) oh right i'm next yep Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yep. all right i gotta do the intro again hang on Okay, uh, I pulled I pulled the Steven on that one. All right, uh, my I'm, I'm uh, kind of getting back into a schedule a little bit. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, I've been kind of going back and forth between um, 
Skyrim role play, uh, where I play a uh, a very uh, full of himself and bratty high elf named Chauncey Well Enough, um, <laughs> who is just trying to get back to uh, the Somerset Isle and and basically like join the Thalmor to uh, to to get him back there. Uh, Hitman Three, I've just been trying to do like Silent Assassin and and uh, a bunch of other stuff in that game. Uh, been recording Yakuza Zero on there, which is a fantastic and insane game if you've never played it before. And uh, I've also been doing uh, like I stream today, Pokemon Black uh, Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, where all of the Pokemon stats, moves, uh, evolutions, abilities, what have you, are uh, are completely randomized. And if any of the Pokemon faint, I can't use them anymore. Um, on top of that, at the end of the month, uh, specifically Saturday, September 27th, I'm going to be joining uh, Pika Clicks uh, Pocket Pixel Safari Tournament, which is a uh, a Pixelmon Minecraft Pokemon tournament. Man, y'all got y'all got so much going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, September, I'm February, February 27th. <laughs> September, he plans really early in advance. <laughs> play the play the intro again. God damn it! I'm not ready for it. <laughs> okay. Um. So this Sunday is the Super Bowl. Uh. So I am doing my annual Super Bowl bet with my buddy Alex. We've been betting on the teams every year for like um eleven years, twelve years. I don't know exactly how long it's been going going on at this point. Um. That doesn't mean anything to anyone. I just wanted to talk about it. Uh, I'll be watching the game and tweeting I just about really it like football. on Twitter. Yeah, me, big big football man. Who's playing? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> otherwise, uh, also Sunday is the 10 year uh, anniversary of Stephen Plays, which is exciting. Um, I'll probably put out a little video that talks about some stuff. Uh, we've I checked because I was really curious how many we've done. In 10 years on Steven Plays, we've released over 7,000 videos. So I I can't wait for the next 7,000. <laughs> Good Steve lord, Stephen, I hear the mud crabs are playing. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Go Seattle, go! Oh, man. Well, uh, things are normal for me. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, playing drums on the internet. Uh, other than that, tomorrow is my sister's birthday and well, happy birthday to her. Yeah. That's about it. I believe. I think. Yeah. Yep. That's it. <laughs> things, things are simple over here. All right. Well, that's going to do it then for us. Dan, you got anything going on you want to share or are we good to go? Um, Twitch TV, uh, motion, Dan, that's always a thing, right? Go go follow Dan. Yeah, and do then, it. And then and do then it. pester him to uh and then <laughs> pester him to play Mother Three. I hear he wants to play Mother Three. Yeah. I've never played it, so it'll be fun. You, you sound very <laughs> sure. <laughs> very sure indeed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> A special thanks to Popsky for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, and Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro. Dan is obviously our producer and attempting to keep us sane. And of course, that is an impossible task. Uh, we will see and you guys. On, and on track. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys Tuesday. Oh, wow. Yeah, right, because it's February. Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021, for the next episode. Bye, everybody. Bye. Where did September come from? We picked That's it up. a very good it question. Up. <laughs> Replay the intro, we cracked it up. Happy Rosa John anniversary, everybody. Welcome to the Disc Only Podcast. I'm Tom. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. 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 I refuse. I refuse <laughs> on so many different levels of principles. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Judd, it. Judd, we can't. <laughs> Why can't we?
I'm, Look, I'm, I'm producing this shit. We're, we're, we're turning it down, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, fine, 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 fine. Shut fine. it down. Shut it fine, down. Fine, Shut fine, it fine, down, fine. everybody. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine. <laughs> Yes, sir.